You too. What's up? This your boy Corey GQ Fresh here with another Fashion Relate video. Before we get this video started, go ahead if you're not a part of the notification gang, 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 as they say, go ahead turn the notification on. I will be dropping more videos, more content. Um, just go ahead like the video already. Like I say. I bring good content, dope content, you know, things that you want to hear, things for the affordable man, and things to promote, you know, fashion, great fashion. And today is no different. Like I say, I bring the content. Like on Tuesday, when my partner say another fantastic show. And oh, if you're not listening to the Casita Nobody on Tuesday, go ahead, get on the speaker out download it listen great content there but here we about the fashion because this is the fashion guru the affordable fashion guru so this weekend good friends of mine mike gills uh, gary pay call him gp they have a company called we don't run from adversity and one of my last videos i brought two jackets at their pop-up shop so they had the spring collection come out and they did a collaboration with a men's store here, James Dent. I think that's the name. I might be saying it wrong. But they dropped a spring collection. Really, really, really dope spring collection. Um, they dropped four pieces as a collaboration with the store owner, James Dent. It's a men's store in, here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Actually, my first time ever being in the store, I was quite impressed by the store like it's a good atmosphere kind of decent but there's some other things i may want to speak about at the end of the video but they did a collaboration and they did four pieces they did two jackets and two shirts um and like i say i posted on my instagram uh, mr Corey gq fresh and i put the attention is in the details so with that being said, like, here's, I'm going to describe the pieces. You're going to see a video of all the pieces. Then you're going to see the piece that I picked up. Like I said, it's a small, it's a small woven bird patch, rubber patch at a cardinal. Um, Indiana, our state bird, is the cardinal. Let me see if I can get that in there. So, it's a rubber patch, cardinal certified to Indiana state bird. And then there was one with the yellow cardinal. Well, yellow cardinals are one in a million. And together, these birds are what created the synergy between the collaborations. The jackets are water resistant. Tees are heavy duty, heavier than standard tees on the market. So it's like a real good tee. Like, I mean, dope tee. Uh, really, really nice tee. You could have it. It's Even though it's for spring, I think you could take this into the summer and the fall. You could wear it. And of course, if you wear it in winter, you could wear it on something layer up like a light hoodie or whatever. But I'm gonna show you some of the pieces. Hopefully it don't get copyrighted. Well, it's music playing in the background. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pieces that was at the pop-up shop collaboration. Then I'm gonna show you what I got. pieces right told you but let's get into what i picked up from it as you can see there was a great shirt but like i said i got the patch the patch was five dollars um and what was so dope let me backtrack a little bit what was so dope i think all the pieces sold out in just a little over an hour all the jackets the jackets was 165 they had the black one with the wee on as you can see then they had the tan one with the alliance over reliance you know that's come together it's a simple phrase and they had these patches for five dollars like i said you could do whatever you want with the patch i think i'm gonna get a um 
maybe a five panel hat, maybe sew it on the middle. Um, don't want to make my shirts almost like uh, a bootleg knockoff, but I'm thinking a hat, maybe, yeah, give me a five panel, sew it on there, get it stitched on there. Like I said, I'm always showing support to my locals here. And that, let me get, let me clarify that. Just because you're local, I'm not gonna support. But because you are local, you will get my ear first. I'm not just gonna buy just to buy. It has to be something that I genuinely like. Nobody has money to throw away. So, like I said, the patch was five dollars. Got the corner on there, sitting on the. Right, let me get focus in there. There we go. There we go. Pretty. Like I said, I'm gonna put this on the head. Then let's get into the jewel, the piece that I that I like. I was texting them days of like, yo, I need a large in the gray, they had the gray. One of my favorite colors, I mean, I always say that, but olive, maroon, and gray. It's pretty much is all is in my closet, but I went with the gray Heather T. I call it Heather, but it's, it's gray. And like I said, it's a pocket T, a little heavier than, you know, most. And in the pocket you got, on your pocket you got the, you got the rubber PVC patch stitched in. It's real dope. And then it's the, it's just simple, subtle things. Like I like brands, but I like brands that don't put their big brand on. Like it's probably why I never brought a Pelly coat, cause all the Pelly coats I ever seen, not knocking the people that do, but it just says Pelly Pell real big. But then in the corner there's a little tag. You know, the we don't run from adversity, James Dent. You know, through time, the true meaning of the symbols we presented will be recognized and appreciated as timeless. And that's that's kind of like how I like my clothes to be timeless. So here's the patch. Like you could go out here, read it, pause the video. I like for my stuff, like I could buy it in 2000. 17 i can still wear in 2020 hell these ralph Lauren jeans that i got on i think i brought in uh 2013 14 and here it is 2018 but back to this like i could see myself wearing if i don't tear it up you know from overuse like i this is gonna get a lot of play <clears throat> with me and i could just throw so much on with it like i said jeans you know i'm a chino person some nice slacks, whatever. I got those some could dress it up, dress it down. Could go with some all black, some white. But this will begin wearing in a couple weeks. Worn in a couple weeks when I go to I'm going to a graduation, couple graduations. So this will be the first piece that I break out. Maybe some red and black ones or a red shoe dunks or something. But like I say, timeless. It, I could, I could wear this. I could see myself wearing this in 2020, 2021. Because there's nothing that says, like, oh, man, that shirt came out that year. But let's get back to the event. Great vibe, great atmosphere, great music. The DJ did his thing. I don't know his name, but shout-outs to him. Um, just a whole great atmosphere all together. It's fun. You know, you got to see some dope pieces, get some dope pieces. Like I said, it was a complete sellout. And, you know, I love seeing that when people I know put their mind to something and they do it and it's a total success. I support people I don't know, so I'm just happy to see anybody that's a total success. But I'm going to try this shirt on. Like, it's a more slimmer fitting shirt, but like I said, with the right piece, the right slacks, jeans, you know, you throw it on. You will be GQ fresh, and you will be a GQ fresh man or fresh woman. Like I said, this I want to congratulate the guys over it. We don't run from adversity and James Dan. Like I will have their social media, their websites, and everything. And let's get into the James Dan part of it. He owns the men's store here in Indianapolis, East Washington. I posted the address on my. Instagram page or whatever you go check them out but I think it's like one of only true men's boutique stores here so but 
it was it's a nice store. Uh, some of the things may may not be in your budget. I'm not. I I seen a couple pieces I like may go back may not. But like I said, if it wasn't for this project that GP and Mike did, I would have never known the store had even existed. And so, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try this on up more. You can check them out. Like I said, I will post this website in there. And, of course, Boston Young. You can find these guys. They, I know they got some dope coming up. Like I said, sign up for the newsletter. I'm on the newsletter. Like I said, I brought two shirts. I brought one as a gift and one for me. So, like I said, I would. It's nothing really more else to say, but sign up for their newsletter. Follow them on social. Follow me on social. Listen to the podcast on Tuesday. Turn on the notifications. Like, we have dope content, dope pieces. We are about to take over. But now, let me give you a vision of shirt. And to the next time, peace.